Here's John McRoger, Airman First Class. That blissful smile on John's face is because John has reached the end of his first hitch, and John is getting out. He is now contemplating the advantages that all civilians take for granted, like a solid gold jagalack, a penthouse overlooking the river, a good job, and a beautiful wife. And to pants to send home to me wife, poor wife, no cares have I to grieve me, no pretty little coil to deceive me. Uh -huh. happy here it comes, really the message. As we go rolling, hi Mac, rolling home. Name is Grogan, technical gremlin, voice class. Yeah, yeah, I know, and you're here to show me why I should re-enlist about all the multitudinous advantages accruing to the re-enlistee. Look, Buster, I don't know what all the trick sarcasm is about, but I'm getting out of this man's Air Force. Capital O, capital U, capital T. Out! Hey, you getting out too? Wait, that's different. Let's pick up our discharge papers together, uh, buddy. Are you kidding? Why, the minute they start talking to you, you'll go all soft and sign up again. But I... Shut up. Sit down. Honest, I've been dreaming about getting out ever since I got in. All these guys are the same. Pushovers. Wild blue yonder pushovers. I don't know why I'm so soft-headed, but I guess I gotta brief this character so he won't be a patsy and get talked back in. <laughs> These G.I. magic wands, always fouled up. Later, later. Now then, the first thing they're gonna try to do they're gonna try to tell you how much better off you'll be staying in the Air Force. Okay, just for the record, let's take a look. That's you, and that's your re-enlistment paycheck. Airman voice class, four years service, 137 bucks and 59 cents a month. And this is what the average veteran of your age is earning in civilian life. 253 bucks and 47 cents. That's $115.88 more than you make, Mac. Why, that's an outrage. That's, that's... Of course, to be perfectly fair, the civilian does have to make uh, certain minor deductions from his paycheck that you don't. Uh, like food, lodging, clothes, higher income taxes, medical and dental bills, and life insurance. Uh, minor deductions like that there. Well, uh, it's only 197 bucks a month. Only. Another thing I uh, forgot to mention was that an airman can increase the size of his check by uh, seniority, advancement in rank, allowances, overseas duty, and flying duty, and as much as six times your monthly base pay for your first re-enlistment. But the civilian still makes more money! Sure, sure, and anyway, the money isn't the important thing, is it, Grogan? It's the job that counts. Brother, you are so right there. Today, we find John McRoger, apprentice trial fastwinder, happily at work. Hey, Mac, there you are. <laughs> Okay, so you're a little lonely. That's natural. Uh, too bad they don't have soybus clubs for civilians. But wow, look at them fancy duds. Nothing like pride in your appearance. <laughs> Grogan, it just doesn't seem quite what I want to do. Look, pal, you can't back out now. Why, why now, uh, you take a uh, retirement. Do you realize that as a civilian, you can look forward to retiring at the age of 65 with a cool 85 bucks coming in from Social Security every month? 
Yeah? Well, in the Air Force, I can retire when I'm 38 and draw down 137 bucks a month for the rest of my life. What are you, a has-been or something? Where do they get off retiring you at 38? It's an imposition. Some imposition. Okay, I decide I don't want to be imposed on. I decide I'm going to stay in another 10 years, till I'm 48. Then they really impose on you. $229 a month. And, and Grogan, I've already got four years done. Well, uh, you can retire on that kind of dough as a civilian, too. Oh, absolutely. All I gotta do is I gotta save up about 90,000 bucks and put it out at 3% interest. A cinch. All right. Yeah, I know, I know. You save 60 bucks a week for 30 years. Okay, okay, so it's ridiculous. I'll admit there's a few good things about the Air Force. Like 30-day paid vacations. And medical expenses and a 10000 buck insurance policy thrown in. And family allowances. And housing. And free education. <laughs> You know something else, Mac? Us guys in the Air Force know more than anybody else in the whole world how to keep these beautiful crates flying. Okay, okay, I've been briefed enough. Let's get going. Yeah, I guess we both know what you want to do now. Right? Right. Look, Buster, if you think you can get by in the Air Force without me, you got yourself another thing coming. Thank <laughs> you.